What's up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's gonna be sort of a part two to a video that I posted on Friday, and that was achieving John Mayer's clean tone, which the moral of that was, forget about the pedals, just plug into a great clean amp. In today's video, we're gonna look at pedals that John uses on his board currently, such as the Katana, Klon, TS-10, and look at some alternatives to those, so let's go. And for today, obviously, no Gibson, no Les Paul. We're gonna use the Fender Strat, and as always, the Fender Princeton Reverb, so let's go. So first up, we have the Keeley Katana. The Katana is a pure clean boost, and in this case, takes our already clean signal and raises the volume without adding any gain or distortion to the tone. So let's check it out without the Katana, just the Princeton Reverb. in the katana that's the katana takes your clean signal raises the volume and gives it a bit more life up next is Soraya Tonsentura let's check it out Next up is the Soraya Tone Centura, aka the Klon. How I use this pedal is for a light overdrive, and I can only assume that John is the same thing. What's also pretty cool is it looks to have been a black Centura on his pedal board in recent tour dates, such as the Garden this past weekend. So let's see how it sounds. Up next, the heavy overdrive, the Tube Screamer TS-10. Let's check it out. Up next is the Ibanez TS-10. How I use it is for a pure lead tone. I'm assuming that John does the exact same thing. Let's check it out. So we've now seen the pedals that John actually uses. The Keeley Katana, the Klon, and the TS-10. So now let's check out some alternatives for that. So first up, we have the Electro Harmonics Soul Food. This is your take on the Klon, and if you're balling on a budget and want to dive into the Klon world, this is the pedal to start with. Let's check it out. Next up is a pedal that should be no secret to you all, and that is the Boss BD2 Blues Driver. This is a pedal that John used quite extensively with the Trio, and is a great light overdrive. Let's check it out. Next up is the Tube Screamer. If you can't find a vintage TS-10, a TS-9 will get you right in the ballpark.
So pedals aside, what did you want to make your already clean amp, your Fender Princeton Reverb or Howard Deluxe, you want to make it have the tone and feel of a Dumble steel string singer like John uses. Then the Vertex steel string is for you. This pedal is incredible into clean amps, just gives them a whole new character and it's as if you have a Dumble but without spending the six figures. Let's check it out. Alright guys, that's today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Obviously, we can't sound like John Mayer because, quite frankly, none of us are him. So, yeah. But, having similar pedals to what he has, we can get the ballpark. And I hope today's video helped with that. So, see you guys next time. In the meantime, click like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys Sunday.